In most first-person shooters, view models are used in order to show the player what weapon they're currently using, and show proper animations for shooting and reloading, making games feel more realistic. However, the view models present in Team Fortress 2 are... broken, to say the least. And here's why. In most games, view models are locked to a specific field of view, and cannot be changed by the player. In Team Fortress 2, however, there's a console command you can use to change view model FOV on the fly. The game's advanced settings menu also allows you to change view model FOV, albeit with a slider that goes from 54 degrees to 70 degrees. This is the range that Valve officially supports. When you go beyond that range, however, things get a bit... weird. One example is an arm sticking out of the left side of the screen when using the original on Soldier. The reason behind this issue is actually quite simple. Since Valve only expects people to use a maximum of 70 degrees, they simply don't test view models for higher values. They left that arm in the view model and moved it out of the way, so that people playing at a view model FOV of 70 degrees won't notice it, but people playing at 80 degrees most likely will. It kinda sucks for people who use high view model FOV values, since they can't comfortably play the game the way they want to play it, without having to endure weird view model problems. As you can see, I am one of those people. If a specific view model is annoying enough, I have to turn my view models off entirely. In a perfect world, Valve would realize that people use high view model FOV values and would fix the view models for us. Unfortunately, this is not that perfect world, and we have to endure a few minor annoyances. Here are some more examples of lazy view models. First up is the shortstop. It might look normal at first, but as you walk, you'll see four bullets go on and off the screen. This was super annoying when I finally noticed it, and it's a real shame, as I have to sacrifice seeing the shove animation to get rid of this. Next up, we have... Any Demo Man primary! The left arm cuts off in the middle of the screen, which is extremely noticeable and distracting. This is less of an issue for me, though, since I use view model min mode, so the view model's position is lowered and the problem is almost completely hidden. Additionally, we have the scout's spellbook view model. Before this view model problem existed, casting spells was super satisfying. Now that it exists, it really sucks. Next, here's the soldier's all-class melee view model. The arm cuts off at the right side. It doesn't cut off by very much, but it's enough to annoy me to the point of avoiding using most melee weapons on Soldier. Call me crazy and say I'm nitpicking, but this one sucks. Up next we have basically all of Pyro's own melee weapons. Pyro has the same cutoff problem that the Demo Man has. Again, this one doesn't hurt me as much because I use view model min mode. Here's one that's super annoying. The Heavy's fist-based melee weapons. The left arm cuts off when heavy punches, but the right arm is longer and doesn't have the same issue. I assume these view models were made with the shotgun, minigun, and lower view model FOVs in mind, which explains the left arm lacking an upper part. But damn, I can't stop noticing it. There are plenty more view model problems I haven't discussed here, but you get the general gist. The seemingly broken parts of view models are there because Valve doesn't want to support higher view model FOV values, despite them being an option. If Valve would take slightly more time to simply move the broken garbage and add more to the view models, many lives would be improved. This has been a video by Air, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, what other types of TF2 content do you like to see? I put up a straw poll in the comments, so please check that out and vote. Thank you. I'm in deep with this girl, but she's out of Yeah.